The following presentation is closed captioned for the hearing impaired. Roll your tongue is believed to be hereditary. 64% uh, of men and 67% of women can roll their tongues. And uh, I happen to be one of the 67% who can. <laughs> oh. 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 Me? Hey. Well, I guess I'm one of those who can't. Josh, why do you want to know whether or not we can roll our tongues? I just thought it would be a fun thing to do. But we've got some other fun tricks coming up later in the show that we tried on some of our club members at home. We'll see how they did in a few minutes. Okay. Yes, and today is also guest day. Another lucky club member at home got a chance to work out with the Hulkster, Hulk Hogan himself. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. And in addition to me being able to roll my toe, I can also move my eyebrows one at a time. <laughs> Here's another good one. Can any of you guys wiggle your ears? Mm -hmm. No. Can any of you guys wiggle your ears? Can you wiggle your ears? Okay. Well, huh? while we look for some more ear wigglers, why don't you watch the popular game show, Mouse Connection? And now it's time for Mouse Connection with your host, Chuck Smart. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome to the Mouse Connection, the show that proves that if you're desperate enough, you'll watch anything. <laughs> All right, let's meet our first contestant. She's witty. She's pretty. She comes from the... City. Let's say hi to Courtney. <laughs> hi, Courtney. Now, tell us about yourself. Well, I live in Azusa, uh -huh. and I love shopping, dancing, and going to the beach. And in my spare time, I like to recalibrate seismological equipment. Whoa. Is this a hot date or what? <laughs> All right. Now, well, you know, we have three eligible bachelors picked out for you, for you to choose one of them to have a date with. All right? Now, let's meet them right now. First, from Neverland, he's a flyer who likes heights, tights, and cool summer nights. It's Peter Pan. Well, I guess you might say I'm the boy who never grew up. <laughs> and I'm always losing things. Like just the other day, I lost my shadow. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm looking for a girl who I can take back to Neverland. Who will clean the house? Tell me stories. And back you the big peanuts. <laughs> Is he for real? What a geek. Okay. Now next, a young man from Los Angeles who's into horseback riding and fencing. Okay, let's say hi to Zorro. <laughs> My idea of a dream that is taking a girl up to make the sign of the Z. You know. We get our swords and go, 
all over everything. I wear the mask to protect my identity, but frankly, it gives me such tan lines that it's pretty obvious who I really am. But the girls think it's sexy, so I wear it anyway. <laughs> Zaro? Sounds like a real snarl to me. <laughs> Besides, who really cares about his real identity? Okay, finally. We have Wilby Daniels for Medvale High School. Let's say hi to Wilby. He's sort of a normal kind of kid. I like dogs. I like to collect stuff. Old artifacts, rings, you know, that sort of thing. And I don't wear capes, masks, or goofy hats. Okay, Courtney, have you decided which of these three bachelors you want to go out on a date with? Uh, no question, Chuck. Definitely Wilby Daniels. He's the only normal one in the group. The other guys are just too weird. Besides, I think he's uh, kind of cute. <laughs> All right, good luck to both of you two. And we'll have you back in two weeks to see how your date came out. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. <laughs> now, Courtney, tell us about your dream date with Wilby Daniels. <laughs> dream? It was more like a nightmare. That guy is an animal. Oh, things got a little out of hand, huh? <laughs> no, he is an animal. It takes one and no one. Oh, whoa, what happened to you, Wilby? It looks like puberty hit you pretty hard. <laughs> it's her fault. She read the inscription on this ring I found. I didn't know it turned you into a shaggy dog. <laughs> Sounds like some of the blind dates I've been on. <laughs> I, I don't know what she's complaining about. I took her out for a nice dinner. Dinner? We begged for table scraps. I was so embarrassed. A bon appetit, eh? <laughs> I can't, Chuck. Now, then he took me down to the city dump, and we howled at the moon. Uh, but I thought you were the romantic type. Besides, I gave you flowers, didn't I? Yeah, you dug them up. Girls like dinner and dancing, but not chasing after cars in the middle of the night. Uh, but we'd have caught that Buick if you'd run a little harder. Now then he started getting fresh. Oh, so what did you do? She, she called me bad boy, hit me with a newspaper. Oh, you're nothing but a mangy flea-bitten old mutt. I do not have fleas. Oh, no, you don't need more because you gave them all to me. <laughs> no, no, down, boy, down, boy. <laughs> okay, now, you kids know that sometimes these things work out and sometimes they don't. <laughs> all right, now, you chose Wilby Daniels as your dream date. Let's see who the audience said you should have picked. Peter Pan, 3%. Zorro the Masked Avenger, 6%. Wilby Daniels the Shaggy Dog, 5%. And an overwhelming choice of 86% of the vote for Kirk Cameron. <laughs> Kirk Cameron? Uh-huh. You didn't tell me he was one of the choices. I, I didn't? I, I guess I forgot. <laughs> you forgot? Forget this, you dweeb. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for now. So tune in next time for The Mouse Connection. <laughs> How did you do this to me? Kirk wait, wait, wait. No, Kirk no, that's right. I didn't know it was Kirk <laughs> Let's see if any of these audience members can wiggle their ears. Can you wiggle your ears? <laughs> well, here's a person who can wiggle his ears. What's your name? Ty. Ty, now wiggle your ears. Yeah. yeah. That's good. That's good. But can you do this? I have a ping depressor attached to a cup. The object is to bounce this ping pong ball on the ground and catch it in a cup without using your hand. You think you can do it? I'll try. Well, but before you do, Let's see how some other club members at home did. Let's not go ahead and try it. You have three chances to get the ball in the cup. Yeah. It's one. It's one. 
That was great. And here's a Mickey Mouse Club t-shirt, and thank you for participating. Okay. Everybody, give a hand to Todd. Yeah. Yeah. We found out that one of our club members at home had a fantasy wish to spend the day with one of wrestling's biggest superstars, Hulk Hogan. Ooh, good. Yeah. Sean Lemire from Santa Monica High School told us he wanted to meet the Hawkster. So we arranged for Sean to spend the entire day with the Hawk, and he even went to a wrestling match with him. Gosh. Well, let's take a look and see how their day went. And gentlemen, I'm going to the guest room of Hulk Hogan from the Mickey Mouse Club, Sean Lemire, a junior at Santa Monica High School. He got to spend a day with Hulk Hogan. That was the end of a fantastic day for Sean Lemire. He's on the wrestling team at his high school, and he's always wanted to meet Hulk Hogan. He's hit it all the way in the wrestling career, and um, I, can, I, I realize him in a way. He's so big, and it's my goal to be as strong as him. Well, we arranged for Sean to spend the day with the Hulkster. It began hours before Hulk was going to appear in a match. I just um, can't help it admiring your bicep. <laughs> That's what I've seen now. Uh. Hulk showed Sean how to use those muscles, just like he does when he wins a match. So you put this arm straight out like that, give him a, a bicep flex with the other arm. That's it, man. That's the bow and arrow. And then from there, to drive her really crazy, give her that most muscular shot. Break down and just hulk up, brother, just like that. Squeeze it as hard as you can. I guarantee you that'll drive him nuts. Hulk had to get ready for his match against Macho Man Randy Savage, but he made a decision that nobody expected. I just think that the Macho Man decides to slip out in the crowd or uh, get a chair, or maybe he's got a couple extra Macho Man fans on, on, on his side. I'm going to have to keep you right behind me. I'll get him. Right behind me. Hulk had decided that he wanted Sean right there by his side when he made his big entrance at the match that night. <laughs> Look over here, Gary. Before the match, Hulk took Sean to a party in honor of Hogan's movies like No Holds Bar. We thought this is another good positive vehicle to spread the word of Hulkamania. To be a Hulkamaniac, brother, you gotta live by the three demandments. Train, the safe prayer, it's very important. You need vitamins. It's just a basic rule to get these kids started. If they're, you know, off off the wide a little bit, it's really easy, really easy way to hook them up and get them going the right way. I mean, I may need to, I may need to get you guys. I thought he'd be real vicious and like crazy and like always flexing and everything. But at first, when I first started speaking to him, he like was real mellow and um, kind of shocked me that I adapted to him and I got kind of mellow too. But tonight, I think I'll get kind of psyched up. And time for the night's match arrives all too soon. For Sean Lemire, it was like an amazing dream coming true. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. on a seat right up front. Man, this is uh, a lot different than high school wrestling. All these guys out here in the ring are making a living and they got a family and everything, and so this is like, like a job to them, so there's a lot of entertainment involved too, so once these guys do a good wrestling move or a little full Nelson suit punch or something, man, I'll jump up and <laughs> showboat it all the way to the back. <laughs> Is it all right if the kids at home do the things you're doing out here? I wouldn't try it. There's a little bit of padding in the ring and you've got these ropes and turnbuckles and you're in the ring with another professional. And at home, you've got the uh, mom's tables that have sharp corners and you've got pretty dangerous objects around the house. So if I was the kids, I wouldn't do any wrestling in the house. <laughs> over, Sean made Hulk an honorary member of the Mickey Mouse Club. And both of them knew it was a night they'd never forget. <laughs> Let's do this one for Mickey, brother. Hey, thanks a lot. Right. Well, that's Thank it. You.
Well, if you want to be part of Guest Day, like Sean Lemire, all you have to do is write and tell us who you would like to meet and what you would like to do with that person. Send your fantasy letters to Guest Day, Mickey Mouse Club, P.O. Box 10200, Lake Buena Vista, Florida, 32830. And if you wrestling fans want more action, watch this. It's time once again for Great Moments in Sports, June 25th, 1958. World Wrestling Federation champ Strangler Lewis versus The Invisible Man. Again and again, the challenger comes out of nowhere to surprise the champ. Just look at those moves. Grappling together in feats of strength. In an upset, the Invisible Man defeats Lewis to become the new world champ a title he held for five years before disappearing from the ring. June 25th, 1958. Just another of the great moments in sports. It's time to play Mouse Memory. Now, we're here on the beach with three audience members who claim to have terrific memories. Our first contestant is Joanna. She's from Orlando. And Joanna... Do you remember people's phone numbers? I never forget a number. Never, never forget the phone number. No, it's going to be a good game. Mike from Virginia. Hi. Hi. How's your memory? I never forget a thing. <laughs> I never forget a thing. And our third contestant is Erica, and she's from Hawaii. Now, Erica, to test you out just a little bit, what was the first contestant's name? Joanna. Very, Very good. good. Yeah. Excellent. You know so we're going to put these superhuman memory powers to the test. Now, we're going to show you some Mickey Mouse Club photos here on our monitor, and you have to remember the sequence. Look at each picture, say what it is, and then adding on the newest picture as you go along. Okay. okay. If you mess up, you're out. Wah, wah, wah. Last person, <laughs> last person in the game wins. And now uh, you at home, play along with us. Ready? Ready? All right. Concentrate. The first picture, Brandy. Very good. Now good, good. Good Go ahead. Brandy, <laughs> Mickey. Good. Great. Better. Third picture, Erica. Brandy, Mickey, Damon. Oh, Very getting, good. Getting tight. Getting tight. Fourth picture, right. back here. Back to Joanna. Brandy, Mickey, Damon, Goofy. Very, Very good. good. Okay, All right, Mike, Mike, number five. Brandy, Mickey, Damon, Goofy, Didi. Very, Very good. Very good. Photo number six, Erica. Brandon, Mickey, Damon, Goofy, Dee Dee, and Donald. Very, Very good. good. Yeah, the first one. Yes, we'll let it go, okay? Brandy, Joanna. Mickey, Damon, Goofy, Dee Dee, Donald, and Teen Lobster. Very, Very good. good. It was getting a little scary for a minute here. Uh, number eight, here with Mike. Brandy, Mickey, Damon, Goofy, Dee Dee, Tick, 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 Wah, Wah, Wah. Oh, we're sorry, Mike, you're out. Okay, Erica, here's your chance. We're still photo number eight. Brandon, Mickey, Damon, Donald, Goofy. Wah, wah, wah. You let this fly before. It's great. Uh, well, the first photo, you still yeah. had the wrong name. We're sorry. Okay, Joanna, to you. Photo number eight. If you can give us the proper sequence, you win the game. Brandy, Mickey, Damon, Goofy, Dee Dee, Donald. Tick, 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 tick. Um, Teen Lobster and Albert. Yes! Yeah! Congratulations. You remembered the proper sequence, Joanna. Now let's go back over the list for our friends at home and for you here who've been playing along. Brandy, Mickey, Damon, Goofy, Dee Dee, Donald, Team Lobster, and Albert. Give them a big round of applause. And for our contestants, we have for each of them a Mickey Mouse Club t-shirt to help you remember us. For our winner, we have this 
Dumbo the Elephant Trophy, which we know you'll never forget, because as we all know, an elephant never forgets. <laughs> And here's something else you'll never forget. Today's music video. And here's today's music video. It's Rocky with Love Will Save the Day. of the Mickey Mouse Club have been provided with transportation by National Car Rental, the official car rental company of Walt Disney World, Disneyland, and the Mickey Mouse Club. Uh-oh. 
on anything can happen day. Meet Ron Lucas, a ventriloquist who can say a mouthful while his lips are sealed. It's off tomorrow on the Mickey Mouse Club. It's some very bizarre but delicious ways you can eat pizza all day long. <laughs> Lesson two, know who's who. Brayden. Laura. Michael. And lesson three, get your friends together and rock the house. When you and your friends rock the house, you and your family can win big in the Disney Channel's Mickey Mouse Club Rock the House Sweepstakes. How big? How about winning one of four all-expense-paid trips to the brand-new Disney MGM Studios theme park in Orlando, Florida? Just think, this could be you, watching the Mickey Mouse Club tape live. Or you could be styling in one of these Mickey Mouse Club sweatshirts or this cool cap. To enter, all you have to do is get a 3x5 postcard. That's 3x5 inches. Then get the names of three friends you told about the Mickey Mouse Club show. Have your parents sign the card and send it to the Mickey Mouse Rock the House Fish Stick. Post Office Box 4682, Blair, Nebraska, 68009. For an official entry form and Fish Sticks rules and regulations, see the July August issue of the Disney Channel magazine or write to the address on your screen. All entries must be in by August 31st, 1989. And remember, watch the Mickey Mouse Club with your friends. And you could win in the Mickey Mouse 12 Rock the House Sweepstakes. Different Monday! Monday is Music Day, where you can rock with the hottest stars in the Reddit videos. Tuesday! Tuesday is Guest Day, when you never know who's gonna be there. Wednesday! Wednesday is Anything Can Happen Day, where anything and everything will happen. Thursday! Thursday is Party Day! Need we say more? Friday! Friday is Talent Day, where kids all across America will be put into the Mickey Mouse Club Hall of Fame. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, any day and every day. The only place to be is the Mickey Mouse Club.